Hello everyone, this is Jenna from Resale and Ship. Today I'm going to be talking about what sold this past week. I actually didn't make a lot of sales in the week part, but it was more on the weekend, especially on Poshmark. I sold a couple of bundles on Sunday. Um, but let's go ahead and begin with what sold on eBay. So this first item that sold was this Tommy Bahama men's shirt for $27. I paid $4.99 for it, and it left me a profit of... Fourteen seventy-eight. I would definitely pick this up again because it sold in two days. Next item that we have is a pair of Chico's jeans. Um, these were mine. I wouldn't pick these up to resell at all. Chico's jeans don't resell very well. Um, I assigned them a value of six ninety-nine because that's what Goodwill would have priced these jeans at. And so I made a profit based on that of four fourteen. The next item that's up um, are these Lululemon leggings. They had a defect, as you can see right here. It's not very noticeable, but they had these little white um, absence of color marks, which I have come across a lot with Lululemon. I don't know um, if it's the material or what, but I've even seen this on new with tag items. So I paid $4.25 for this and a lot I bought in February um, and it sold for $5. I took a best offer on it with $4.99 shipping and I made $0.38 cents on these leggings. The next item I have is also Row Perfect Tea. This one sold for a total of about $31.99 $31 I think it is. $31.99, yeah. And um, I made a total of twenty forty five. I'm not going to be picking up a lot of Lulu Row anymore. I actually have a lot of Perfect Tees up right now, and the average price going for Perfect Tees is probably in the twenty to twenty five dollar range. So this was a, I was very very pleased that it sold for this. I think part of the reason was I ran a sale, um, and this sold within. I think it was the first month um, that I've had them up. So that was, I thought that was really good. Um, but I think from now on, I'm not going to pick up any Row. I actually have a whole bunch that's unlisted. And they're just not selling as good as they used to. This was a happy surprise. And I'm going to keep my other ones in the similar price range. And I know I'm in it for the long haul. Because, you know, I just love Row anyways. But... I wouldn't recommend picking it up anymore because it is long tail. It is going to be hard to sell. It's not a quick flip. It sells all the time. It's the number one, or it was re um, until recently. Actually, I haven't even looked at the soul or the part on eBay like um, that it is. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. There's a place on eBay where you can look up the number one selling thing, and for the longest time, it's Little Row. It probably still is because people are just buying it for so cheap. But I haven't looked, so I can't say it is the number one selling thing on eBay still. So. Moving on. And, oh, like I said, $20.45. Which is a really, if I thought I could keep getting this, I would definitely, um, getting that price, I would definitely keep getting these. This is a Ralph Lauren women's purple sweater. This was mine. Um, I signed the value of $4.99 to it, and the profit that I made was $3.94. I sold it within two months and I put this one on sale as well. I don't really often run sales. Um, normally I just lower the price, but I thought, hey, why not? I wanted to put the Lula Row on sale and see if it would make a difference, so I put this one on sale too. Um, would I pick this up in the thrift store? No, I would not to resell unless it was at the bins, maybe. This is a Talbot's Classic Jean Jacket. I paid $6.99 for it. I thought it was really cute. Um, I didn't realize that it had a little bit of fading that I wasn't quite sure if it was supposed to be there or not because with this color, this can happen sometimes. So I just noted it and I got an offer for $25. And my total, and they paid shipping, so my total... Um, Profit was $9.77. I would probably pick this up again if I didn't pay $6.99 for it. If I would have gotten it for less, I would definitely pick it up again. Next one is American Jig 
American Jeagle. American Eagles jeans. Um, I got these at the bins. I think I paid a dollar for them. They sold for twenty one ninety nine. Going priority mail. Um, they were really lightweight. I another reason to weigh your stuff. They might have been able to go first class. Probably not, but they might have. They were really lightweight. Um, I made a profit of eleven dollars on this. I think. It's because of where I got them, and yes, I would pick up American Eagle jeans if I would get them at the bins again. This is a Flying Tomato women's cardigan. This is supposed to be an auction, and um, I put it, I guess, at $5 with $4.99 shipping, but it was supposed to start at $5 on auction. It did have a little bit of an issue at the neck. Um, where some threads were unraveling, but it was in great condition, and I thought it probably might have been new other than, um, or not worn often other than this weird, weird issue that was right there. But they paid for it, um, and then I also realized I had to send it priority mail, so that was a whole mess up thing for me. Luckily, I only lost $3.47 on it, which wasn't too great, but it's better than losing a whole bunch of money on it because I only paid $4.99 for it in the store. But I wish that wouldn't have happened, of course. Next, Columbia um, Omni Shade um, Large Purple Shirt, Hiking Shirt, um, paid. Uh, someone paid $25 for it. It had a defect up on the neck. It wasn't very noticeable. It just was like this faint, like weird white lines there. And I couldn't get it out. I tried Tide Pen and things. So um, that sold. And I made $13.20. And I would sell this again because I bet if it didn't have a defect like that, I could have gotten more. But I always try to be honest if I notice that there's something wrong with an item that I'm selling. Next. Re-Rock for Express Jeans. I've had that for a really long time. Um, I forgot I forgot to be telling you guys about how long I've had each item. I'll go back after this one just so I don't get com anybody confused. But I've had these probably since... Um, I don't know, January or something. They were new with tag. Um, I It looks like I retook pictures because I think what happened was I, oh, why is it doing that? I li had them listed and then didn't have the best pictures for them, so I went ahead and took them again. So this must have been the second month that they were up with the new pictures for them to sell for $35 and $7.45 shipping. And thirty-five dollars. They didn't sell for thirty-five dollars. They sold for a total of thirty-two forty-nine because I took a best offer on these, and then my profit was fourteen twenty-three. I don't think I'd pick up these again. Um, I think I got them confused with like Rock Revival when <laughs> when I was thinking about them um, and picked them up because I did pay six ninety-nine. But they were also new with tags, so I thought, I guess, why not? So total, um, $32 was collected, so I think it was $25 that they made an offer, and I said, why not? Um, let's see. This was two months. This was, I know it says fast and free, but I think maybe three months. Or more. Um, this was a couple of months, six months, and that was within the month. Okay, now we're here. Okay, so this Disney um, store, a Winnie the Pooh shirt. I'm noticing a trend with lots of my items have issues. That's what's been selling this week, I guess. I don't know. But um, it had some stains on it. I actually sold this once before when I first started. It was the first defect I ever got because I canceled the order once I realized there were stains. And the person had paid $19 or so plus shipping. 
and after I told them I, I canceled because I didn't want to get a ding for late shipment, they said they still would have taken it and then to let them know if I ever got the stain out. I never got the stain out, so I decided to just go ahead and put it up. Uh, I gave up, you know, trying to get that stain out, and um, I just put it up as is with the stains. Um, they weren't very noticeable at all. You can't even really tell. They're like right there but I noticed them and they were a lot better than they had been in in the beginning but they weren't they were still there obviously so someone gave me a best offer of five dollars I took it I still made a profit surprisingly of about 68 cents um 68 cents so that was not too bad okay 68 cents yeah sorry I saw I had put um, another thing that sold today up there and I was like, what does that say? Five bucks. Doesn't matter though. All right, so 68 cents is better than no cents. And I made my money back. So that's all the things that sold on eBay. Um, these were new pictures with my new camera. So this sold within the month. Let's go ahead and move on to Poshmark now. All right, so I sold this leopard print Dana Buckman dress that I've had forever, like a really long time. Um, I thought it would sell because it was new with tags. It was pretty. Leopard print's always on trend, but nobody ever wanted it. It was very bodycon. That actually looks really weird now that I think about it. And it was actually set in my pile to redo pictures, um, but... I never, I didn't get to it, and then somebody, I sent out an offer and someone accepted it. So it was $11 with a, a $1.50 off, so they paid $4.99 shipping. This person did not reply to a request for a free item, so I sent them a little mini notebook, which cost me only $0.25. Cents. And the profit on that, so I did do a Poshmark one this week. Um, Poshmark on this, Poshmark, uh, profit on this dress, actually, it's not a profit, it's zero, it's a negative 69 cents. So just because you sell a lot of items or you see somebody who sold a lot of items, if they don't tell you, like, their profit or their cost of goods, they could be losing money too. It happens. I'm just happy that I sold all these things so I have space, more space. Um, this was part of a bundle. Um, I actually took a, an offer on all three of these for $20, and I know that's really low, um, but this item did have an issue. It was getting ready to be dropped to my $5 item, which is basically a free gift. So I looked at it this way, that this item, even though I just listed this like a couple days ago, and this item, if they were together and it was $27 and somebody offered me $20, I still would have taken it. They're paying for shipping on eBay. I would have had to um, think about how I was also paying for shipping. So it was very comparable to just have all these items together and um, have that person give me $20. I did send her a little pack of tissues for a free gift, but that's like $0.12, cents, so... It really wasn't much of anything. Um, but so she got those three items and they were $20. And this top was mine. Like I said, they're not any like big brands that I'd ever pick up to resell. This I thought South Pole was like really in still when I first started. So that's an older picture. Um, this was my husband's. Um, and I did assign a value for each of them like I always do. Um, and this one I got from eBay. I thought it was very, very going to be completely different than that because the picture they had made it look different. And I, I wasn't gonna do an item not as described. It was a, it was four dollars with free shipping on eBay. But when I got it, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is not what I thought it was at all. It's like completely not anything in my style at all. And it is very a very loose extra large. So it was a lot bigger than I thought it would be. And I did say that in the description, I think. Yep, loose fit. All right, so the profit I made on this bundle was 10 cents. Yay, 10 cents. But 
I made all my money back. Um, so this other one, I actually is another bundle. I actually reached out to this person. Um, they had liked, and maybe I can move this here. Okay. They actually had liked all three of these items for a very long time, and I tried to send her an offer through the make an offer button thing page, and it wouldn't let me because it said I've already sent her too many offers, and they've been ignored. I'm like, okay, well, that doesn't mean she doesn't want them. There's all kinds of reasons why they, they can be ignored, not seeing them or anything. So I, was, um, I had four pairs of Lulu Row leggings um, that were that I wanted to move out before I brought my new stuff in. So I decided to do a two for $20 sale. And because I'm not moving these bracelets as much as I want, I decided to throw this in as a free gift. Um, so I contacted her and asked if she wanted them, just as I said, just shoot me an offer for 20 bucks and I'll accept. And she did. And so I sold them and my total profit on this was actually 775. So I did a lot better with this, even having this um, as a free gift. Um, with it. And then the last item that I sold was a J. Jill linen dress. Um, these pictures are not the best. I don't even know how this happened with some of these pictures. Like Poshmark is like, why is this black thing here? I don't know what happened with this at all. But I could not fit it on my mannequin dress. It was just too small. My mannequin's a medium. I need a better mannequin. But she's a medium so she doesn't fit small things on all, I mean she she can sometimes fit some little things but her shoulders are just too broad and stuff so she doesn't fit everything all the time but these were the only pictures that I really thought I could get these are on my um, table my table is round so that's also not the best for a dress and that was before I had a place to hang things up or considered hanging things up so on this dress um, I made a total of 501 as a profit. So those are the items that I sold on eBay and Poshmark. Um, for the total net, um, or the total gross profit on Poshmark was $66. So you can say that I made $66, but once you take off, out Poshmark fees and cost of goods and how much free gifts cost, and I don't even put into consideration um, the what is it all the tissue paper that I use because you know I that's that's a separate line item really um, but I only made a uh, twelve dollars and seventeen cents the total net for eBay gross was two hundred fifty seven dollars and twenty nine cents boy don't I wish I got like half of that no so the net profit after all of eBay fees and shipping taken out and PayPal fees is ninety four eighty. Now that's to me, I still feel like that's pretty good. I mean, um, but I also wish it was a little bit closer to that three hundred dollar or two hundred fifty seven dollar mark. But that just goes to show that you can sell lots of items, but they're not, you know. These are what people call bread and butter items, you know, things you're supposed to sell every day. I don't list um, as often as I should. I'm doing um, a lot better with it this week, which is why I think I sold so many things this weekend because I started listing a lot. But um, you can also notice that a lot of things were my old listings. A lot of things I just, you know, wanted to move out. Um, so I was accepting offers I probably normally wouldn't be. But on those items I did because, like I said, they're things that are older. I've had them a while. These are my older pictures or they've, you know, just been sitting for a really long time. This one's not an older picture, but you, you understand what I mean. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed that video. I'm sorry if I got off tangent at all. If, you've, if this is your first time being here. Go ahead and subscribe. If not, give it a thumbs up if you like it. If not, give it a thumbs down too because I understand that sometimes I do ramble and that's okay though. So I hope you guys have a good night and I'll see you next time. Bye!